Thank you. Hello, you freaking tube. How is everyone today? I am the first giant, and welcome back to I Expect You to Die. Uh, in the uh, last episode, we, uh, figured out where the death engine is. That's what is on this reel. And now, we do what I think is the last mission, the last episode of this game. And we, uh, by just popping that in there, and, um, yeah. The data rail you retrieved from Madrid revealed that the Death Engine is a weapon that appears to be, well, in Earth's orbit. Oh. You must infiltrate Zorax's Space Corporation. We not. don't know where the weapon is aiming, but we must stop it before it fires. You took a pass-fail elective in astronomy, yes? Well, sure. I hope you passed. All right, well, um, guess we're going to space. To stop Zorn once and for all. When I cool. Said, infiltrate. I didn't think you'd hijack a personnel shuttle. <clears throat> I'm impressed. Our intelligence tells us the death engine is run by a single Zoraxis operative who will likely mistake you for a hench person. Remember, Agent. Destroy the death engine at all costs. Personnel shuttle, you're cleared for docking. Come in, shuttle. Hello? Of course, they sent me an assistant at the worst possible time. Brace for impact! Death engine activation. Is that a countdown oh. kill? What could you do? Okay. Glorious, isn't she? I get chills every time she fires. I feel like we didn't successfully stop that. Do you read me, Shuttle? Oh, no! Uh... That's not good. Note to self. Check on fuses and adjust... Well, that worked. Calculations. The chances of the shuttle surviving the next blast are, well, low. What did we... What did they hit with that? Oh, not dead yet. I'll put you to work as soon as I can confirm your arrival with ground control. This is Death Engine Commander Solaris, clearance 20R7. Yes, they're here now. What? I'm looking right at them. They're in a Zoraxis personnel shuttle. Yes, I can wait. Automatic computer? Who wouldn't want to do their own computing? So this is the fuse box. Do keep in mind that shuts down life support as well. Hmm, well, I probably don't want that off. Oh! There, that's, okay. Well, if the toilet is giving you trouble, I'm not sure what hope you've got. Oh, um... You're just gonna st sit there and watch me then. Okay, cool. Uh... Yeah, you, you, you know... There's a box in there leaking radiation. Is that a pro- is that a problem? Shit! Sh sh shut up! Shut up! Sh 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 Not that you can with the circuit off. Oh. Wait, where's the... Oh. Can it... Mm, can't reach that. Oh, right, gravity's uh, off. See, Zoraxis extended their contract with Juicy Core. Okay. Um, we have a couple of things here. So, way of making. Hmm. 
Oh! That's probably important. Is there a way of making it not uh, Hmm. Uh... Oh, no! Did they finally approve my blaster design? Oh, wait. That's just a bolt driver. Wait. Ooh. Looks like some fuses are blown. Lucky for you, the important one is I might have... I might have broken one of those. Actually. Hmm. Uh... Well, that helps, actually. Uh... So, let's see. Life support. Contr G control. Airlocks. Auxiliary. Okay, um... Hmm. What else have, where what else have we got in here? Hmm. Why am I listening to elevator music? Nope. Oh, that's probably not good. Hey, I wonder... Oh. Probably should have turned off the power first. Right. Give me a second. I'm uh, just um, cleaning the headset a little bit. Mm. Ooh. <sighs> Ooh, okay. All right. Um Okay. Should be able to pop that back on now and Okay. Um oh. Uh, oh. All right. Let's see here. Back like good. Ah! Uh oh. Uh, isn't she something? It never gets old to see her fire. 
What did you hit? Oh no. Note to self. Check on fuses and adjust risk assessment calculations. The chances of the shuttle surviving the next blast are, well, low. Where's that camera feed? Oh, not dead yet. I'll put you to work as soon as I can Hi. confirm your arrival with ground control. Ooh. Uh. This is Death Engine Commander Solaris. Clearance 20R7. Yes, they're here now. What? I'm looking right at them. They're in a Zoraxis personnel shuttle. Okay, we'll turn that on for now. Yes, I can wait. So... Mm. Ah, Enjoy that's good. If you can. Yes, that's all we get to drink. So... Do keep in mind that shuts down life support as well. That's probably not a good thing, but hey, it works. Dr. Zor, uh, what a uh, unexpected surprise. Obviously. That's hardly my problem, is it? I see. Yes. No. Gravity. Maybe. I'll take care of it, I suppose. Understood. I said I understand. So... Well, well, well. You're far from home, aren't you, agent? To think that I almost removed that radioactive waste from your docking bay. I received your file and there's more here than I expected. I'll read it while I watch you squirm. Oh, no. Oh, well, um... Okay. Interesting. Note to self. Ooh. Make sure docking arm manual override container is securely fastened to hull and not sliding all over the damn station. If you keep messing with the gravity controller, what do you think that's going to accomplish? Eh? Hmm. Um. Ooh. Okay. Uh huh. Oh. Interesting. Not that one. Oh no. You're glowing is a okay. compliment. But not in your case. Get it? Because radiation poisoning? <laughs> it's a good one. Okay. Wait a minute. Nope, we don't want that. Hold on a second. Ah! Did somebody... Oh, that's banging on the window. Okay, cool. Um... Hey, there we go. Okay. My hand is... Just keep that off, you're draining the batteries. Control, auxiliary... Oh, airlocks. Bottom one. Crafty and dangerous. I approve. Okay, now how do I actually... Oh. Interesting. So, if I... Out of curiosity, can I flush this down the toilet? <laughs> it's nice of you to stop wasting my oxygen. 
Oh no! Not good. Five minutes, okay. Uh, do we... Hmm. Uh, I don't know how we... Hmm. Um... Hmm. Can we... Oh, what does this do? Oh. Oh no. Sure, go ahead. A little radiation can't hurt. Oh, why not open the other door as well? Mm. Probably not going to do that. Okay, back to the doors. And okay, very clever, but now what? Only I know the combination to the lock, and it changes all the time. Should be able to do that. Should be able to do that now, and that. Nice. Oh, could probably use one of these. Eh. What you gonna do? Oh boy, okay. There is a thing. Well, uh, personal shuttle. Wait, if I have this helmet on, do I need... Decided to end it all so soon. If I have the helmet on, is that going to cause problems if I... I don't think so. I'm pretty sure we're good. Um, right? Um, now. Hmm. Question is still. That's fine. I don't care. Security on these new computing machines is horrendous. Oh, great. Future generations will solve this issue. Great. Fine. That's great. All right, now let's see here. Uh, Oh no, we're dead. No, that's not it. Hmm. I bet you. Uh. 
I'm dead. Yep. <sighs> I think we've we're figuring it out. risk assessment calculations the chances of the shuttle surviving the next blast are well okay uh, uh. Where's that camera feed? oh not that yet I'll put you to work as soon as I can confirm your arrival with ground control okay this is that engine commander Solaris clearance two zero R7 yes they're here now what? I'm looking right at them. They're in a Zoraxis personnel shuttle. Yes, I can wait. The nice. I approve. Thank you. Um. Doctor Zor, something exciting must be going on since you've decided to talk to me. Are you serious? How incompetent can ground control get? I understand. Fine. You sure came a long way to accomplish nothing, Agent. At least that nuclear waste is definitely not my problem now. I received your file and there's more here than I expected. I'll read it while I watch you squirm. You keep messing with the gravity controller. Oh, not good. What do you think that's going to accomplish? Huh? Note to self. Make sure docking arm manual override container is Why securely am I... fastened to hull and not sliding all over the damn station. Hey, that works. Okay, why am I having... Wow! Cool. Okay, I'm having tracking issues again. Stop. Okay. Got it. Why am I having tracking issues? Definitely going to have to move this more. Got it. Just keep that off. You're draining the batteries. Nope. Got it. Okay, very clever. But now what? Only I know the combination to the lock and it changes all the time. Open the doors, you die to radiation. Don't open the doors, die to the death engine shockwave. Aye, decisions, decisions. Operating staff. Uh, 
Either. Hmm. What is Must be mm. Oh, okay. Mm. Interesting. So, did you really forget to bring a space helmet to space? Hmm. So now. Now what? I don't know. Okay, that doesn't help. Wait a minute. Okay, now what? What the what did it give me? Great. Oh, okay. Ta da I cannot let you use that manipulator. Agent, I enjoyed your bumbling, but enough is enough. Mining trajectory, calculating force, and catch. Uh oh. Nice. Hey. Blowing up the death engine is guaranteed to kill you. It is? Well, interesting. I was hoping I could put that in there, but, um. I can't, so now what?
I don't know. Awesome. But now what do we do? Did I just send like a mini nuclear box down towards Earth? Yeah. Oopsie. Hmm. 30 seconds? That's not good. Oh. Okay. Got it. Oopsie. That's okay. I saved the world. Most of it. They did blow up something at the start there. But I saved most of the world. It's They probably only destroyed something unimportant, you know, like Canada or something, you know? And that is the end. So... Fantastic. This was a great game overall. I got stuck a few times. You know, we took a big break from it because I got stuck. But, um... And I did obviously have a little more... Uh, and a little bit of an easier time to doing some of these missions because I had recently watched them on somebody else's channel. Which is how I knew how to get through them. I wasn't, I was actually just watching them recreationally and went, oh, wait, they also have the answer to the one I was stuck on, so, yeah. But I watched the other ones, I watched them out of order, so, oh well. Anyway, this is a pretty great game. Still working on tracking issues, but... Overall, pretty great game. And the tracking issues are my fault, I'm sure, so... Oh, I expect you to die will return. So there might be a sequel. I haven't heard anything about a sequel, but... I mean, usually when you see that at the end of a Marvel movie, it You've means finally done it, Agent. Sequel, dead. so. Well, officially dead. Not to worry. This is a development we plan to fully take advantage of. I dare say it was a close call for us down here as well. Still, all's well that ends well. Is that I supposed to be smoking? I really did expect you to die. So I'm dead. I'm not worried about all the bonus stuff. Whoa. What? This is a commentary bubble. The button you just pressed toggles them on and off. They oh. On in all of the puzzles, as well as this room. They contain interesting developer tidbits. For instance, the time frame with the art style we were going for was late 50s, early 60s. You know, the prime spy era. Of course, we needed to fudge the technology here and there. For instance, Zor's retina scanner was conceived of in 1935, but the first working one wasn't until the early 80s. But this button and this radio are period specific. Okay, that's cool. Another thing we wanted to keep in mind was close interactions versus far interactions. Sometimes far interactions can set up a grand scale of things, but really it's the close interactions that work the best in VR. 
freezing things and being able to look all around them is really cool. Being up close and personal is more fun in VR. One of the problems we had to solve on I Expect You To Die was objects getting hidden behind other objects in a level. Players would constantly lose objects behind desks and chairs while solving the puzzle. Using physics raycast against every object in the scene to determine if the player can see it wasn't a viable solution due to performance concerns. Instead, we came up with an approximation called hidden volumes. A hidden volume is essentially a trigger volume that does two things when an object falls into it. First, it applies a special extra shader to the object so that it can be seen through other objects. And then, it puts the object on a separate physics layer, which allows the player to highlight and pick up objects through other objects. Something's on fire there. That's probably not supposed to be that way, but anyway. One thing that we kept in mind as we were designing puzzles was, can items be used for more than one purpose? For instance, the bottle is fun to play around with. You can pop the cork, release the champagne, have a little moment of celebration, but you can also break the bottle and use the shards of glass to cut the wires on the bomb. Is it the multi-tool or the unitasker? Whenever possible, Oh, interesting. I probably won't listen to all of them. We're not going to go back through every mission and listen to everyone, but I do want to listen to the ones in this room, so... You have to be careful when you're conducting playtests in VR to make sure that your guests aren't too immersed. We've had a half dozen or so people fall right out of their chairs. They're reaching for things. That's why we put a nice soft rug underneath our playtesting chair to protect both the hardware and people's knees. That's a good that that's a good reason for the rug. Ooh, gotta be careful with that. No, don't gotta be careful with well. I'm going back to the future. <laughs> Where's our... No. Oh well. Wait a minute. If we put it next to the explosive wow it's durable the i expect you to die you are playing now is the end result of many many iterations this villainous librarian was the antagonist in one of those iterations and speaking of iterations, we completed many of them with the help from our playtesters. Early in development, we'd have coworkers try prototypes, or even cardboard mock-ups of puzzles. Then we would bring naive players into our offices to playtest the game in white box form. That is, most of the art would be untextured, simple forms, mostly cubes. Then later we'd continue almost daily in-house testing, as well as sending the game out to third-party testing facilities. Among other more targeted questions, we'd always ask these five. What was your favorite or best moment or interaction? What was your least favorite or most frustrating moment? Was there anything you wanted to do that the game didn't support? If you could wave a magic wand and add, remove, or change anything, what would it be? And when did you feel most clever? By tracking these answers, we could focus in on how to make our game as great as possible. Awesome. We went through many names for what we now call souvenirs. They were additional objectives, they were spy achievements, mementos. No matter what their name, they're fun to play with. Enjoy collecting them all. For texture memory and draw call reasons, there are only four unique book covers in the office. But you can be sure that all are standard issue for EOD agents. Nice, all right, well, one more. I Expect You to Die currently supports many control schemes. And while that broadens the potential player base, it also comes with significant challenges. The tools so behind glitchy. our tutorial system are quite robust, so that we could create different slide orderings and focus on different aspects for each control scheme. Try the different controllers and you'll see what I mean. Alright, well... Anyway!
anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Liking and subscribing. Please share the friend and don't forget to click the notification button. May the power of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And that'll be all. Oh, one more. The reticle is a crucial part of I Expect You to Die. In the game, the reticle moves in 3D space based on the level's collision geometry. We scale the size of the reticle to avoid drastic changes in size as it moves around in the world. The further the reticle is from the player, the higher the scale factor that is applied to it. And by doing this, we are able to maintain a fairly uniform reticle size. We position the reticle in this manner so that the reticle is at the same depth as the object the player's eyes are converging on. Not doing this causes a doubling effect on the reticle that is unpleasant.